As the U.S. economy continues to power ahead, small businesses are adding to the technology tools that help them get through the pandemic. And today, John Fort brings us up close with the CEO of a software company that helps salons, barbers, makeup artists, and others run their operations. Hi, John. Hey, Tyler. Yeah, Danielle cohen it is the founder and CEO of Gloss Genius, whose tools help with scheduling payments, customer management, that kind of thing in the beauty and wellness industry. The company announced a $28 million Series C round this week, led by PE firm L. Catterton, bringing uh, Gloss Genius valuation over a half a billion dollars. Uh, Danielle's interest in the sector kicked off at Princeton when she helped classmates get ready for social events, but she traces her entrepreneurial roots to a boost she got uh, before her teen years from her grandmother. My grandmother would um, write very old fashioned, very traditional, would write a lot of cards and, and notes to um, folks that she knew, whether they were thank you notes or um, happy birthday notes or congratulatory notes. And I remember visiting a Hallmark store with her one afternoon and I saw her pick up a lot of different types of notes and, um, you know, she, she bought quite a few of them and I had realized that uh, I could make these. And I asked her if she'd give me a little bit of time to make some of them. And uh, I sent her a package of greeting cards that I had hand painted. And, um, you know, I, I, I sent them to her and she called me and she said, I'd like to buy some from you. What a way to get your granddaughter started. Well, Danielle spent some time on Wall Street at Goldman Sachs before launching Gloss Genius. That's a crowded field in beauty and wellness software that now includes rivals like Fresha and Style Seat on the beauty side, Mind Body in fitness and wellness. When I talked to Danielle this morning, she told me she thinks demand in her industry will hold up even if customer uh, consumer spending falters and she can win by delivering better features to her target small business customer. The beauty and wellness category is made up of um, experiences and important, you know, kind of uh, small delights that consumers reach to. And there is such things as the lipstick effect when, uh, you know, during periods of economic, uh, you know, kind of stress, it seems like the sector and spend is up because people want to look better and feel better about some of the things that they're doing, um, and particularly in the job force that they're in, too. Uh, there's been a lot of studies there. And when I look at all of this taken together, I think there's still a lot to watch uh, on the macro front, um, but the category has throughout time proven resilient, and we're expecting to see the same type of resilience throughout this period, too. So, guys, there's a revolution happening right now in software for small and medium business and in specific industry verticals. It's somewhat reflected in stocks like Intuit and Bill on the SMB side, Procor, Samsara, and Toast in construction, logistics, and restaurants. Danielle at Gloss Genius is one to watch and how it plays out in beauty. Are her customers mostly salons or individual makeup professionals, artists? It's mostly, uh, so, well, I don't know the answer to that. Mm -hmm. It's a combination of salons, artists, barbers, and then, you know, estheticians, you know, mm -hmm. people doing nails and whatnot. So it's various sizes. I don't know sort of by volume, probably by volume, it's individuals, like uh, number of accounts. But I think the volume of accounts at this point is probably coming. So it's a payments, a record keeping, a scheduling tool. It is. Absolutely. And there are more and more. It's interesting. There are um, vertical players that deal in a specific industry. And then you've got horizontal players in the small, medium business software industry, like Augusto, that are just trying to provide that capability to all sorts of businesses. Mm. And so there's a bit of a push pull. Are the horizontal players going to sort of roll up and overpower the vertical players or are the vertical players going to be so good niche at ones serving, serving that, that, that particular niche that they're going to win out? And will a big player like an Oracle did a while yeah. eventually roll everything up? Who knows? Right. But there's a lot of action there because smaller businesses realized during the pandemic we really need this software because we need to we need that data on our customer. We need to be serving them in all kinds of ways. It can all be done in slips of paper and in cash. Makes a lot of sense. John, thanks for bringing that to us. Thank you, John.